hello pioneers and welcome to today's Pi Network tech and product update for the first quarter of 2023. In Pi Core team's last announcement on Pi Day, they talked about the progress they made towards achieving the goal of moving Pi Network towards open mainnet. Today, we want to build on that and talk about the specific steps we need to take to get there. Firstly, they want to focus on verifying the identity of our millions of pioneers. PCT understand that security is a top priority for everyone, so they are introducing a native scalable KYC solution to make this process smoother and more efficient. Once they have verified Pioneer's identities, they will be migrating their mobile mining balances to the Pi mainnet, but PCT don't want to stop there. They want to create real utilities for the Pi cryptocurrency through the Pi ecosystem. They want to create a vibrant and thriving ecosystem that encourages the use of Pi in daily life, whether it's for transactions, services or products. i -Core team can't achieve these goals alone. That's why they're calling on all participants the core team, community developers and pioneers to join them in making the enclosed network phase a success. It is only through our collective efforts that we can prepare the network for its maturity and readiness for the open network period. Now, well this tech and product update focuses on what the core team has been working on and the features that are relevant and interesting to pioneers, we want to remind you that Pi Network has been tirelessly working on various other efforts and deployments related to interface revisions, scalability, community success, and bug fixes. The Pi core team hopes that you continue to support them to make Pi Network a success iNetwork has been dedicating significant efforts to push forward the development of app resources and the Pi ecosystem, which will ultimately facilitate the creation and utilization of real-world utilities for the Pi community. Their aim is to create a comprehensive Pi ecosystem that is integrated with the Pi cryptocurrency, providing both Pi app developers and pioneers with a range of benefits. With more apps available, there will be more opportunities for everyone on the network to explore new use cases and utilities. Our efforts towards these goals are guided by two key criteria, which work together in tandem, developing the infrastructure and features of the Pi ecosystem and providing resources for Pi app developers. This will bootstrap and foster the creation of utilities and Pi apps for our engaged community of over 45 million pioneers. Nurturing the development of Pi apps and utilities through various programs that incentivize and support developers. These include initiatives such as the first quarter of 2023 hackathon, Pi community outreach, external business development, and internal core team created apps. iNetwork believes that, by continuing to push forward with these efforts, we can create a vibrant and thriving Pi ecosystem that benefits everyone on the network. Here are some of the features that have been implemented by Pi Network Testnet Ecosystem, which is a new interface in the Pi browser that allows pioneers to interact with Testnet apps and gives them a preview of what the main net ecosystem might look like. It is a central hub for selected apps and utilities that meet main net app criteria. Pioneers can explore Pi apps, including some hackathon apps, and interact with them to support developers' efforts. Community developers can also give pioneers exposure to their Pi apps for testing and iteration. These in-development apps have minimum initial criteria for open collaboration and visibility, but pioneers should use them at their own discretion as they are still under development. The app-to-user payment feature has been released on Testnet to test payment flows from app developers to users. This feature allows new types of payments for developers to integrate into their apps and develop intended functionalities. Developer wallets have been released on Testnet as specific wallets for app developers to hold and utilize Pi for the apps they are developing. The wallets can be created and integrated into their testnet applications on demand. Pi is conducting some testing and review of testnet developer wallets before making mainnet developer wallets available. Developers can file an application for a mainnet developer wallet, which will require review before being granted. The first quarter of Q1 hackathon was held from January 9 to March 5 to encourage the building of mobile web apps that address real user needs, support the use of Pi cryptocurrency, and ensure that the apps are intuitive to use and accessible to everyday people. Over 360 eligible project submissions were received from pioneers around the world and there were over 200 more post-deadline submissions. A variety of strong use cases were among the submissions, including social media apps, financial apps, marketplaces, games, news apps, and ecosystem apps. 
brainstorm app improvements have been made to facilitate the exploration of ideas by pioneers and developers and to help them pair up with like-minded people to build innovative apps. Apps can be reviewed, vetted, and rated in a decentralized manner by pioneers. Brainstorm also has an added emphasis on hackathon-related support, such as project ratings of hackathon submissions, technical support, and integrated experience for hackathon submissions and project reviews across multiple tools. iOpen Source or PyOS software license has been released to enable Py community developers to create open source applications and tools for the Py ecosystem and foster collaboration among Py community developers within the Py ecosystem. Py developers can have access to PyOS. Licensed programming libraries of editable code templates and material which can allow users to develop and learn at scale and from each other while saving time. The PyOS license grants unrestricted use of the software only within the Py ecosystem. PyOS was successfully used by numerous 2023 Q1 hackathon developers when developing and sharing their Py app source code, including four of the winning projects. iNetwork is not only focusing on releasing developer features to boost utility growth, but also improving the Pioneer experience within the app, website, and for mainnet migration. A new feature called post-migration lockups is being developed, which will enable pioneers to create lockups within their mainnet Pi wallet after migration. This feature is crucial for a healthy and smooth ecosystem and encourages long-term engagement with the network. iChat is undergoing a major infrastructural change to allow for faster development and deployments of future chat features. This migration will improve stability and overall experience for pioneers to interact with each other, especially during peak times. Additionally, this paves the way for further development and new features on PyChat. The Pi website received a design revamp on Pi Day, including a new look, feel, and content. This redesign streamlines content and news to reach more pioneers and improve the overall user experience. Improvements to the mainnet migration funnel were deployed, including enhancements to infrastructure, onboarding, user experience, and more. Finally, multiple translations and missing translations were added to the Pi Mining app to enable more pioneers from different regions to interact with Pi in their native language. Last quarter, Pi Network achieved an exciting milestone with the implementation of Open for All KYC, which fulfilled the long-awaited desire of the entire community. While the majority of the network has been able to complete KYC verification at any time, the tentative KYC program was introduced to allow some accounts with more complex verification requirements to proceed with KYC while being cautious before receiving a past status. I has enabled many newly KYC-enabled accounts to apply through the tentative KYC program, ensuring the integrity and accuracy of the network's KYC process. In addition to tentative KYC, Pi Network released in-app notifications to encourage and remind pioneers to initiate their own KYC and migration processes, as well as their referral team and security circle members. This feature, similar to the mining reminders that pioneers already use to prompt their teams to mine, promotes decentralized efforts to accelerate the network's progress in KYC and migration, bringing us closer to the open network. You can use the Pi Mining app to notify your team and remind them to initiate their own KYC and migration process, contributing to the massive network's successful completion of KYC and migration to mainnet. It's time for pioneers to band together and work towards achieving the two enclosed network goals. Number 1. KYC and mainnet migration and number 2. Building utilities and the ecosystem. After aligning and releasing all major essential infrastructure components for the KYC and ecosystem, we want to inform and inspire pioneers to take action towards these goals. This product and tech update, similar to the Pi Day announcement, aims to highlight our product development progress and the new tools available, hoping to motivate pioneers to contribute to Pi Network with diverse decentralized efforts and help achieve the enclosed network goals faster. If you want to learn more about how you can help Pi Network overall, check out the full Pi Day announcement. Thanks for watching Pioneers and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe to our Pi Whales YouTube channel and earn Pi rewards.